Okay, finally they're finished. Okay, so after four hours of waiting, I did this, I think I started paying them around one o'clock. It is now six o'clock, so I did leave it a little longer just to make sure everything was nice and good. Now, after finishing it, I can safely say that I'm super glad that I did it. Now, initially, when I first got these ones, I wasn't really too sure about the fit of these Levi's. I wasn't too sure, like, how it looked on me. Like, just kind of how wide it was. Now, to be honest, now, after doing this, I'm super happy that I did do it. Because now, it's kind of giving me a reason to wear these a lot more. Since these have more of a unique look compared to most of my pants. Now, uh, I think, overall, after doing all of this, it did not take me too long. It took me around maybe half an hour after doing it. And trust me, it was boiling outside. So, when I was doing it, it was a great workout because flexing my muscles while I was whipping it onto there and it was overall just so hot after I was done I was just sweating now before I move on from here is that I should talk about where I kind of got this idea from now splatter, den splatter denim in general is just super cool denim to be honest I really like it personally my fan is blowing and it's blowing things all over the place now when it comes to inspiration for this is that I do get it from three men sources the first was i got it from fear of god because i knew that they did it like a lot and i always kind of like the idea of just paint on denim the second was from magnus running his merchandise which i thought looked super dope but 90 pounds i didn't really have like that kind of line around and i didn't really have the reason to spend that much on it even though i'm a huge magnus fan and the third one was from jacob wallace i know that he did a bunch of um diys and this was one of his and when i saw that video that inspired from my mason margella i was like damn that looks super sick and i liked it I like the how all the colors are used so I did use the exact same colors now when it comes to the paint that I used I did use this tulip matte white for the white um, they're all the same brands uh, for the yellow it, it was a slick version then for the red it was also slick and for the blue it was quite puffy now as you can tell for the white since it was a matte it does have a kind of a different more texture compared to the others and when it comes to the yellow it is kind of a glossier version you can see it better up here so I kind of wanted to wait long because I thought it was wet but it turns out that's just how it looks and then for the blue I think that blue is kind of the best way to go because like it kind of seeps in it doesn't really have like a 3D effect on like this so as you can tell you could probably like peel off the white but overall I think the colors served me perfectly nothing really went wrong I did use a two toothbrush when doing this and it turned out really well to be honest um in the morning I initially this was one of the projects that i wanted to just scratch off my bucket list oh god this lighting's weird so I, it was one of the topics that i kind of just want one of the topics uh, uh it was one of the things i wanted to scratch off my bucket list i uh, was doing this thing and i had the time today and it was a bright sunny day i uh, i thought i had some paper it but it turns out i didn't so i went to hobbycraft it's a local uh, arts um arts and crafts place and i grabbed the paint i asked for attendance and stuff like that so it all went well i got opinions from the store workers so it just went pretty much perfectly now when coming to the technique of doing this is that from someone who was close to failing art in my first couple years of secondary school is that coming from me I was super worried that I wasn't going to do it correctly even though I did mess up around here as you can tell I do have like this little weird red spot but to be honest it's not a big deal it kind of sits inside the leg so you can't really see it so even though I messed that up it was super simple now all you want to do is that since these have like a fine lead is that you kind of like just poured it onto the toothbrush and then you do it from all different kind of angles you do it like that so it kind of has like more drops and then actually no if you want to have it like singular drops kind of like this was kind of like little like little dots on there I recommend doing like that motion but if you do want to have it like sways like it's like little like um how am I going to explain this when it's like that it's as you can tell it has like a really long version like that I recommend doing it from like a side motion before I show you a few outfits on how I style this is that one last little detail that I did add was that just so I don't really waste any paint at the end I did kind of just brush off the excess paint so it's kind of a mixture of colors down here even though I have rolled it up just because I feel like it looks a little better that's just something I did if you have that's an idea for any of you who want to do it and I thought it came out pretty well now in terms of the first fit, it is a rather relaxed outfit. Since it has been a lot hotter here, I've never really had a chance to wear any jumpers. So I've been wearing vests, t-shirts every day, along with shorts and occasionally some jeans. Now, onto the first fit is that, of course, I had this, these pants. Now, of course, I threw on a bit of jewellery. So I had a ring, ring, a uh, bracelet right here. Then I also had a necklace. Then I just wore this H&M long line uh, t-shirt. It was about £6. 
And then over here was a belt that I got from Amazon. It is just this bullet belt. I thought it went well here. It is kind of a little of an accent right there. Thought it looked pretty cool and here's that fit. Now on to the next fit, it was a super bright one. Now as I said, I know I didn't like have many opportunities in these recent days to wear jumpers, but I was like, hey, you know, one day it was a little cooler, so I did wear this yellow jumper that I got from H&M. It was the Los Angeles one, I talked about this I believe in my last, last video. And uh, yeah, it fits really cool, and uh, so there's the jumper, it's super crinkled and messed up right now, but you will see it soon. So I wore that, wore the jeans, didn't really wear any belts because I felt like I didn't really need to. Um, and I put on my MCM high tops. These are pretty nice, they are more of a high end shoe. Uh, I got them on sale, but they are pretty cool. I've never really talked about these on my channel before, but these are some shoes that I've been really getting into. Just like the kind of, of a slimmer design, well compared to the Air Force One. It's a lot more slimmer, kind of tighter, and these like little gold uh, brown accents. I feel like they do look kind of cool with the pants. So here's that fit. Okay, now for the third fit, what I went for here, of course, is the same pants. Then I threw on some Teavers, and uh, for the top, nothing crazy, just this vintage t-shirt from Urban Outfitters, which is just a glorified charity shop, in my opinion. There's a bit of controversy to spike the audiences. So this Led Zeppelin tee, I think, looks really cool. It's a nice, loose fitting shirt. I feel like it went well with the bottoms along with the shoes. So there's that. I'm not going to pretend as if I'm a poser, because I am not. Stairway to Heaven and Immigrant Song, those are two of my favourite songs. Even though they are his most popular, I feel like those are just the dopest, to be honest. So there is that. Hope you guys enjoy this outfit. Okay, so now to wrap up this video is that now this is something I was kind of afraid of doing because I've never really been one for DIYs and arts and crafts because once I am a klutz when it comes to that but yeah, as long as you have the right products right here all you need is a bit of paint and then you just need a toothbrush these cost two pounds each these are eight pounds toothbrush maybe uh, five pounds so eight plus the five is gonna be 13 then throw in the pants which I think were 10 so that was uh, 23 pounds total two plus two is four. Just for these pants, which is super super good. You save a lot of money if you avoid the designer brands and uh, Yeah, I'm really happy with how these came out. I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more splatter to be honest I do have a white bands. I have my iron, but if I ever do that I'll let you guys know and I also have some black shorts, which I think would look pretty cool with a bit of white splash on there I'm probably gonna go crazy when it comes to this super happy with how it came out Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna get back to revising because I have GCSEs and a week, so uh, pretty crap right now. I've done a couple, most of my tests. Now I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one, peace. Okay, so it is the next morning. I initially intended it to upload it last night, but um, uh, I didn't have the laptop. So that was the video. Um, if you think the, uh, trousers, the trousers were trash feel free to let me know you thought they were trashers get it trousers trash it's super early oh, it's only nine o'clock but uh i am i'm off i'm probably gonna upload this and i'll probably get working on another video today so you know that was a really loud clap i'm alone in this house so i can make as much noise as i want someone stop me okay hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys very very soon i know for the last half i'm looking to pretend it was like really good because i to honest, i didn't think it was very good to honest, i was just throwing stuff together i feel like the tvs didn't really work with it but you know what are you gonna do okay so anyway hope you guys enjoyed it and um enjoy the next couple videos that are gonna be coming out this next couple days so i'll see you guys very very soon peace just noticed that this video is 10 minutes and 8 seconds, so um, bit of a meme in 2018. Oh, 
Ooh, that rhymed. Meme in 28. Alright. Anyway, that's not the point. So, it, I've reached 10 minutes and 8 seconds. And I know this whole this adpocalypse thing where if you get over there, you get more money. I don't make any money. So, just thought I'd get that straight if it wasn't very obvious by my subscriber count. And, uh, okay. Anyway, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it very much. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Again. Hold on. Stop it like you fable. Showing off, but it's alright